Hello students, we're doing 411. We're going to practice with multiplication. So the first thing we're going to look at is practicing multiplying with decimals. Um, I want you to take a look at this. If you, if I told you that 23 times 48 equals 1,104, I want you to apply that to being able to solve these problems, okay? If you notice, that's 23 and 48, but I have decimals in the numbers. So, what you would do in this situation is, remember when we multiply with decimals, they go away to Decimal Island and we don't even multiply with them. Then they come back in when we're done multiplying. So if we already have the answer, then we can put those numbers here, 1,104, and come in and put the decimals in after, okay? So remember when a decimal goes away to Decimal Island, However many moves it takes for the decimal to go out, then it comes back in with that many same moves. So here, for it to leave would go out one. So for this one, it would go in one and be right there. This one, it would do one, two here and one here. So two plus one would make three moves, which means it will make three moves to come back in. One, two, three. So that decimal would be right there. This one, is a one move, this one is one move. One plus one is two, so two moves to come back in. One, two, okay? Uh, this one has no decimals, this one has two, so this would probably be the same answer, right there, as the, the top one, because that was two moves. Even though they were in, the decimals were in different factors, that, that part doesn't matter, it just matters how many decimals, uh, place, places there are, okay? This one, again, one, two. Now I noticed that the, the 48 and the 23 have switched, but the commutative property tells us that you can switch multiplication um, and it, the, the, the factors and it doesn't matter. Your answer will still be the same. So this again is two, which again will be the same answer as before. So when you are given an equation with an answer, you know that you just have to do the decimal move. So it's actually a pretty easy problem. Let's take a look at some um, word problems. Okay, let's take a look at some of these word problems that are on page 152 in your fat cheetah. It's asking us to write an equation, then solve, and then check that your answers are reasonable. So there's going to be three parts to each of these word problems. First, we have to write an equation. An equation has to have an equal sign and usually a variable, okay? Solving, we have to have an answer and check that your answers are reasonable, usually is asking you to round or estimate, okay? So it's important to read these directions and know that they're asking for three things. We have to give three things right now. The first thing is, let's write an equation. So I took uh, number, number 25 on your Fat Cheetah 152. We're gonna go through this problem together. One US gallon of water weighs 8.3 pounds. How much would 4.8 gallons weigh? Okay, so I have to write an equation. If I know that one gallon is 8.3 pounds, how much would 4.8 gallons weigh? Um, for this equation, I would take 4.8, that's how many gallons I have, and if each gallon weighs that much, I would multiply by that much to get um, the weight. So I'll put W, or let's see, it's pounds, so I'll put P for pounds. Your variable doesn't matter. Um, this would be my equation. My equation has an equal sign, and I also have a variable, the P for pounds, or whatever letter you want, and now I have to solve. Okay, so I have 48 and 83. I'm going to not think about those decimals. Two moves to get them out. I'll do two moves to get them back in. So I have 48 and 83, and then multiply. Eight times three is 24. Three times four is 12. Two more is 14. X out the zero. If I write an X, I gotta write an O as my placeholder. Eight times eight is 16. Excuse me. Eight times eight is 64. Eight times four is 32, plus six is 38. And I'm going to add that. Okay, 
I had two decimal places to get the decimals out, so I'm gonna move two back in, one, two. So it looks like my answer would be 39.84 pounds. And now I have to check that my answer is reasonable. So I will round now. So I'm gonna take this original equation, 4.8, multiply it by 8.3, and I'm gonna estimate. 4.8 is very close um, to five, because that 0.8 would be very close to five. I'm gonna round that to five. 8.3 is pretty close to 8.5, um, but then I have a decimal, so I think I'm just gonna round that to eight. Okay, and I know that five times eight is 40. 40 pounds is my estimate, and 39.84 was my actual answer, so I would say that I am correct. So we have our three parts. We have our equation right here. We have our answer, we solved it right here with the label, we put pounds there. And we have our checking that our, we're reasonable. We estimated 40 pounds. So that's how I want you to do the rest of those problems on page 152.